Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. So today for Vlogmas, we are going on a quest. <laughs> yes, you guys, we're going on a quest. I wanna talk about the trials and tribulations of being the mom of a teenage boy. <laughs> It is hard to be the mom of just one child. I've always wished that I had more children and would have loved to have had at least a pair, a girl and a boy, because I do love my shopping. On some level, I feel like one of the major reasons why I really enjoy running my nonprofit organization is because I do get to buy toys for children of all ages and genders. But having a teenage boy is rough when it comes to gift giving. Teenage boys especially, they don't even care about getting clothing or anything glamorous. They just want electronics and gift cards to electronic stuff, or at least my son does. He does not have any interest in anything else. And for the last couple of years, the only thing he's really even wanted is to upgrade his computer system. So that's been super boring. And he got like t-shirts and I had like some of his favorite video games screen printed onto t-shirts. And I try my best to get him things that I think he might like that make me happy to gift. But this year I heard him talking about a new virtual reality system called MetaQuest, boring as usual for me because those are the kind of things you can't bargain hunt or anything like that. But I actually just left the bank because I found a seller on Facebook Marketplace that is selling one brand new in the box for $320. So I'm kind of excited. That's a very good deal for that specific system. And hopefully I don't get a box of bricks. We will soon find out. Wish me luck, guys. I'm on my way there. I got the money, and I'm on my way to the address of the seller, and I will let you guys see what I got him in a few minutes. Okay, guys, see you in a few. Okay, guys, I'm back. And I did get the MetaQuest. So mission accomplished. But, but, it is not the same day, and I almost didn't get it. I am so lucky that the guy sold it to me, because for those of you who watch my videos, I've mentioned how I'm having both of my Jeeps. I have, this is my Jeep Liberty, which is an older clunker that I do drop-offs to the shelter in mostly. And then I have a Jeep Wrangler, which was like supposedly my better truck, but both of them are having electrical issues. Don't ask me why. And I couldn't charge my phone, so I got lost because the fuse blew in the other truck and I can't see the GPS. In this truck, I'm having electrical trouble this one doesn't have a G in this truck. I'm having electrical trouble and the, and the charger doesn't work at all. So I have to really make sure that my phone is charged. Plus I do walkthroughs. Plus I'm always on my phone. Oh my God. Having no phone is torture, but I got lost, terribly lost. And I couldn't send the guy a message because my phone died. So he thought I was trying to like rip him off or just, I guess, scam him. I think what he thought was that I was also selling one and I wanted to sell mine before he sold his. So I pretended I was buying his, which I mean, I don't even know who thinks about these things, but he was really accusing me of a lot of things. And then I said, listen, this is what happened. So I sent him a little video of me pushing the button to my Jeep and showing him that it doesn't power on. And I guess he, I guess he believed me because he was probably like, wow, that's pretty pathetic. She really wants this thing. And so he agreed to meet up with me today and I was able to get it. And so I did get the MetaQuest 2, which is a virtual reality. It's 128 gigabyte. And this has... It requires wireless internet access and a Facebook account. Smartphone is required to run the MetaQuest app. Free download to set up the device for ages 13 and up, it says. It says that it's backwards compatible. I have no clue what that means. Blast, lash, and spin your way through the MetaQuest content library. Easy setup. Open the box and jump right into VR. No PC console wireless or external sensors needed. Oh, it doesn't need those little towers. Like, I don't know, three 
virtual realities ago. We've had a lot of virtual reality systems. Um, next level hardware, a blazing fast processor, and ultra realistic graphics put you in the center of the action. So, like I said, I'm going to put the retail price on the screen. You guys might be looking at it. But the thing that's really amazing about this is that last year I bought my son the Oculus. I think it, yeah, it's called the Oculus, which is like the virtual reality that came out right before this one. This is like the most recent one, I guess. And I was joking with the crew from Vlogmas how I think my son may have, um, Eddie Haskell'd me because he was like, mom, my friend doesn't have a virtual reality. I said, anybody can have virtual reality. They're like $10 for the goggles because the Dollar Tree was selling some for a while. So I was like, I think I have a pair. And he was like, no, but I want him to have the Oculus because I think he wants to play the games. I think you can play with other people somehow. I don't know, but I think you can. I'm not sure. Or maybe he's just a really good kid. I'm not sure. But the way he said it, and he was like, I would like to give away my Oculus to my friend. And I was like, well, which friend? And then when he told me, I realized it was the one. Um, he, my son has a friend who um, lives with his grandma. She's older and maybe just doesn't think that he needs one. Or maybe, I don't know. It's not my business. But my son has really been wanting his friend to get that. I think so they could play together. So he was like, but he's never had it. And I've had it for a whole long time now. So I feel like I should give it to him for Christmas. And I was like, oh, you want to give your friend the $400 gaming system for Christmas? But what are you going to have? And he said, I don't need anything. Of course, that was a red flag that my son wanted this new system for Christmas. So then I Googled it and I was like, ah, yes, they've come out with a new system. So he kind of Eddie Haskell'd me, but he actually already gave his old system away to him. He wrapped it up and told me to help him drop it off on his doorstep because he wanted to make sure that I got him one before they sold out. I think, I think, but I can't prove it, but I think that my son could be a politician. Um, hopefully he doesn't watch this video, but he doesn't know I'm getting it. I said, that's really nice of you. I'm so happy that your friend is going to be surprised. But, you know, I didn't buy you a new Oculus. He was like, it's okay, mom. I don't need it. So slick he is. He just makes your heart. He makes my heart so so slick my child is. So then I was like, but we, we didn't get you. We didn't get you. What would you like for Christmas? And he was like, I don't need anything. You could just give me socks and underwear, mom. You know, I don't need anything. I, I've been homeschooling. I, I, I don't get to see anybody. It's okay, mom. And so he knew, he knew what he was doing. But then I went on this adventure for the last two days to get this because I was like, wow, I just got one for him last year. And I did upgrade his computer last year, which was really expensive. Let's not even talk about that because he has a gaming computer and those things are just a money pit. So the guy sold me this for 320 bucks. And it also says that inside of here, I did open it. It was sealed actually, but I opened it because I just wanted to, not that I didn't trust the guy, but I just wanted to make sure that everything was in here. So it says inside the box, there is a VR headset, silicone cover for facial interface, two Quest, two touch controllers, two AA batteries, power adapter, glass spacer, and charging cable. That is all in here for 320 bucks. But the look on my son's face when he gets this, which I'm pretty sure he realizes he's getting this, is going to be priceless because I feel like everybody wants to give their kids exactly what their kids want for Christmas. At least I do. I only have one son. He doesn't really ask for much, even though, you know, he finagled his way into this. If he had asked me, I still would have bought it for him. But I like his style sometimes. He's very good at schmoozing me and getting me to make him and he's really good at schmoozing me and getting me to give him anything he wants and making it seem like he's a philanthropist on top of it. But he really did give his other one away. He did. He gave it away. We could have sold it. He could have sold it and used it for gamer money, but he really did give it to his friend. So in a way, he's a chip off the old block. And uh, yeah, this is what I got my son for Christmas and underwear and socks like he asked for. So I'll be putting candy, underwear, and socks in a stocking and telling him Merry Christmas. And then after a few hours of him thinking that his plan was foiled, I'm going to surprise him with this. So let me know in the comments down below, what is the most creative your kids have ever gotten trying to get you to buy them some big high ticket item for Christmas? So this is, so that's, that's all... So that's basically all 
I had to share with you guys today was this one Christmas gift because it's the equivalent to several young child gifts. When Chris was really young, I would spend like hundreds of dollars on tons of little toys that I would buy him all year round. And I miss those days. But as they get older, they just get one big expensive box and it makes it kind of sad. And there's not a lot of gift giving. So I'm going to have to trick him in order to entertain myself. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you are giving your kids for Christmas or grandkids. And if they're like, um, high ticket items like electronics because they've become teenagers and it's just not the same as it used to be when you could get them fun little cute toys and watch them play with them because you know virtual reality basically means I'll be virtually alone the whole day while he's playing this virtually anyway you guys this is happy merry vlogmas day 14 and as always stay safe and stay savvy bye bye